Life revolves around the problems we have and want to solve, it's a constant pursuit of happiness. If we manage to solve all our problems, we won't have anything to worry about, and our life will be peaceful and happy, without room for suffering. We all desire to achieve this in our lives as our ultimate goal is happiness. However, I believe we are approaching the problem in the wrong way by trying to resolve everything that concerns us. This is a mistake because it's impossible, new concerns will always arise, replacing the old ones. You might think that being happy and living without suffering is impossible, but I assure you it's entirely possible and within everyone's reach. Throughout history, people have found a solution to this problem, a solution that personally changed my life and the way I perceive things. I hope that once you understand it, it will have the same effect on you. What I'm about to share with you is the pillar of historical thinking and can be applied to absolutely everything that happens in your life. It's called the dichotomy of control. The dichotomy of control is all about distinguishing what we can control from what we cannot. You may wonder how to apply it to your life, but don't worry, in this video, I'll explain it in depth. It involves identifying and separating problems so that we can clearly tell which ones are external and beyond our control and which ones are related to the choices we genuinely control. Epictetus, one of the most important historical philosophers, understood the significance of the dichotomy of control in his life. In his own words, the main task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control, and which have to do with the choices I actually control. It's an easy concept to grasp, separating things we can control from those we can't and determining what lies within our control and what doesn't. If we delve deeper into the dichotomy of control, we realize that there are three categories of events, those entirely under our control, those partially under our control, and those not under our control. For instance, being kind to others is entirely under our control, staying healthy is partially under our control, but the fact that the sun will rise tomorrow is not under our control. It's essential to differentiate these three things. We should focus on what we can control, like being kind to others or taking care of our health, and stop worrying about what we cannot control. We can't change what has already happened, but we have control over how we react to it. This can make a difference between victory and defeat, between excellence and mediocrity. Both beginners and experienced individuals can use the dichotomy of control to avoid unnecessary suffering and learn from their mistakes to improve. For over 2000 years, Stoic philosophers have applied the dichotomy of control in their lives, using this tool to become happier, suffer less, and better themselves as individuals. And now, you have the opportunity to do the same. To practice, make a list of all the problems in your life and things that negatively affect you. Then, separate the problems into two groups, one for those you cannot control and another for those you can control either partially or entirely. After dividing your list of problems, accept and forget about all the ones beyond your control and focus all the ones you can control.